Hello, this is Jeff McNeil and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. So, today we are fighting our final monster. This is the last monster in the current version of the game. And it is Lavioth. Man, I hate this thing. I hate every part of the um, Piscine monsters. I hate Plesioth. I hate Lavioth. I hate Cephalodrome. I don't mind the ugly mud fish they got in this game simply because it doesn't do anything. It just straight up doesn't do anything. Oh, I forgot to get cold drinks. Um, cold drinks. So we're off to fight Lavioth. And that is the last monster. Until they release DLC like Devil Joe. Devil Joe is coming, and once he show up shows up, I'll be doing a video on him. He's he's one of my favorites. Alright, first things first. Is we are going to get our hands on some little angry people. Oh, whoops. Beep, beep, beep. I forgot something. It is nice I can change things in my tent. Because I forgot to change my palico. The shield is maxed. I want him to use the plunder blade. Because there I need like lava nuggets and stuff for um, deliveries. And I'm guessing they're from this thing. Could be from Aragon. Mushroom. I hate how you get armor spheres in this. Oh. Are you guys I'm maxed with? If you aren't, what are you? You are the... Protectors. Well, I'm not maxed with you guys, so... Alright, let's go find us a Lavioth. Now, obviously, the Lavioth isn't... Whoa! Um... Did I see a Wrath almost? And where did Aragon go? Did it... The Aragon went through here, didn't it? Huh. Weird. I think I saw a Rathalos. An Azur Rathalos, yeah. Not something I particularly want to mess with right now. Oh, little angry guys. I don't don't want to deal with them. They aren't friendly little angry guys. So pop a cold drink. And this is... Oh! Hello in there! Were you picking your toes? Kinda looked like you were picking your toes. Okay, let's try and find Lavia. Does the lava cause heat damage? Okay, it actually does cause heat damage. Good to know now, rather than good to know when I'm dying. Oh! I saw it! There it is! Wait, it's... 
small. I remember it being a lot bigger in in Gen. I remember it being a heck of a lot bigger in Gen. But it probably still has the broken tail hitbox. Oh, darn. I always forget to do that. Oh! Ow. Ooh. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, dumb fish. I like taking not damage. Up, oh, dude. Wait, what am I doing? I've got my shield boosted so I can. Whoa, it exploded. Okay. There we go. Now I can break through the lava. have a tight hitbox, and I don't have any song box. Um, oh! I'm okay. Not, not taking any damage. Now I'm taking damage, so I'm going to use my health booster. Huh. It is not nearly as bad as I remember. Then again, I was fighting like G rank. So that would definitely make a difference. Wow, that has such a small range now! You are nearly as bad now that hitboxes are tightened. And you're tiny. You are a tiny, tiny Laviop. Okay, so that went very, very, very well. Wait, wrong item? There we go. Okay. Doing good, doing good. Follow that fish. Hello. Point. 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 Hi ho, silverfish. previous games, that would have hit me and done like 60% of my health. Uh, did I get it out of that? Ooh. Yay! 
is it? Fish just swimming through the earth. Because that's what fish and monster hunters do. That is a big, big no. Ow. Oh, I'm on the fish. Don't, don't go into the lava, please. Yep. Yep, that, that's what happens. When you mount a monster and it moves out of, like, the player accessible area, it just instantly knocks you off. It's annoying, but it's been that way since mounting was introduced. The worst cases of it came from the... Um... The Fatalis monsters. They're very, like, easternized, very westernized dragons, and they had massive, long, elongated necks. And they'd swing it all over the place while they were trying to knock you off. And because of all the lava pits in the area, which obviously you couldn't go into, it would just constantly knock you off. Now, you may be wondering why I can, like, talk so calm during this, because it's not hard. I haven't come across really anything as tense, like the Shigaru Magala, the Gore Magala, the Zenogre, any of those really famous, like, really tough monsters. None of them, none of the monsters here have, have really compared to that. Even the Elder Dragons have been kind of, like, don't get me wrong, the Val Corbeck, he was cool. But he was cool for his appearance and gimmick, rather than being something that was inherently difficult. Was an Aragon. Hey, why are you attacking me? Why are you attacking me? Leave me alone. I I'm no threat to you, dude. Either of you.
Ow. I'll just put that there. Don't mind me. Gone? Is it coming? Is it going? What's it doing? Oh, it's standing back there and shooting fireballs. Sure. Oh, whoa, that was new. That was new. Oh, that's the first chip check that I think has hit me. I can tell you, I hate monsters that damage you just by walking around. I mentioned that in the Xeno whatever it was. Monsters that can just hit you during their movement annoys me. Oh. That was a bad move. Fair enough. Got my vitality mantle. Kind of interesting and cool. Ow. Oh right, not out. No damage. Wait, it missed me, didn't it? Why did I burn? Cameras in Monster Hunter are a real special kind of hell. Night, night. the Wrath of Meow. That little slingshot cart just isn't as cool. I don't know who, which of us got the worst of that. Too bad. No, nowhere near as bad as I remember. Had some cool tri tricks like jumping between the lava pools and raining lava. That's kind of cool. But overall, he, he wasn't that bad. Not, not, not all that bad at all. Despite bouncing everything because it was in lava, it, it wasn't bad. 
I will build a home. Good kitty. Here's a double baked sausage. Zerathalos. Oh, my cat must have stole it. And this is the defense lock. So the lavender nugget must come from Aragon. It must, it must, it must. So, yeah. That was the Laviath, the final monster. As far as I'm aware, the final monster in the game. I put him off till last mainly because I hate him, but he wasn't that bad. So, as my final monster hunter video, at least for the moment, um, all I can say is thank you for joining me during this run. I hope you learned a thing or two. I hope you had some fun, had some laughs. And you may be willing to take a look at the series in the future. Maybe not this game, maybe one of the DS games. There are lots of options to play Monster Hunter. You can, you can probably track down the old PSP games. You can play World. You can play for you generations. If you want a more story-driven thing, you can play Monster Hunter Stories. I mean, it's a very different type of game, but there are lots of ways to get into the series. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions or requests, just leave a comment. I may be significantly different in terms of my gear than what I am now, but I can get around to it, see what I can do. So thank you very much for joining me. This has been Jeff McNeil, and I'll see you in the next time.